Keep filming here and make sure because I think I shut it off accidentally when I took the picture. But this is a trout farm area here. I used to like to take my grandson down here when he was younger. He used to love this trail. We hiked all over the place when he was about five or six years old. He's older now, but we don't get a ch chance to hike as much as we'd like to. But we just did a hike about a month and a half ago up in a Corte de Madera back in uh, early June. You can see those are the little hollers that I'm talking about back in there. Let me get them panned out again. I'm a little too close. Hard to follow when I'm bouncing around. Okay. So I think this is a works, public works project back in the 1930s. And they did this for conservation, Civilian Conservation Corps, to make sure that the, uh, the steelhead would survive, surviving through the, you know, to repopulate. There's more, but more redwood right there. More redwood all over here. Younger growth. And one that got snapped, started going downward. These are really thick, thick, lush forest right in this part of the, the valley. A cool temperate rainforest in a way. Very pretty. Very pretty area. Okay, so this is going to go down where that main trail is so you can hear the creek. Over here, the creek runs through here. The, the runoff from the mountains comes down through here. But it's not too loud right now. Very, very quiet. Usually you hear it bubbling really loudly. There's some more branches that have been knocked over. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's the rem remnants of the chop farm, so I'm going to go over to here. Oh, this has some, oh I see the nuns are over here looking at the forest. I thought there was a wedding for a second. So these big trees got knocked over in the winter storms. Winter storms knock them over. The heavy rainfall and the blender storms and knock these big guys over. Yeah. Yep. You can hear the creek barely, barely running underneath all that brush down there, all those brambles. The creek is running through there. I'm gonna bring it down to the end of this little trail and go back up where I started from because I don't want to waste all my time down here in the valley. I want to get back up on that hill. There you can hear the, now you can hear the brook right down here. You can hear the brook. Sounds beautiful, very meditative. Those big horizontals up there. And how they got knocked over there like that, but look at that, check that out. 
Wow. Interesting, to say the least. Wow. There they are. It's really a small little babbling brook right now. But in the wintertime, that thing can flood up here to the road. Have more deadfall. And the gully that goes that way. The road that goes that direction too. I wind up starting one way, I wind up making a different kind of loop here. Trout farm trail. And okay, this goes off into the um, service area for the rangers. What they would want people to hike back in here, but this is the service area. This might be interesting. I might find some structure back in here. You can hear the creek a little wilder running through here. Listen to that. Wow. Wow. That's a really running good here. That's a big deadfall right here. Look at this. All the way up. Wow. Look at that creek. Wow, beautiful. Now you can really, really hear it. Beautiful, look at this hillside forest here. Look at it. This must be the remnants of where the old trout farm where the steelhead used to climb up, hop up the, uh, the different levels to get to where they spawn. Isn't this beautiful? That's about as far as I can go right here, but look up there, isn't that beautiful? I'm telling you. The undiscovered off the path, off trail areas of the coastal valleys of San Mateo County, California. Just beautiful here. Just beautiful. Yep, they want to keep this thing clean. They don't want any pollution back here so the fish can spawn upstream. That's just beautiful. This is really a nice little hike back here. I'm glad I came down instead of continuing up without checking this out. Wow.
see how thick this foliage is here? No way you can see what's back there, nor can you even get back there. Thick, 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 thick. Off the beaten track, you would never see this from the road. You have to go to the point where you can hike in. You can never see this off of Highway 1. You can see some beautiful areas off of Highway 1 that goes from all the way up to the South California coast, but the one that goes to San Francisco to Half Moon Bay, all the way down to Santa Cruz. You see, you do some, see some beautiful valleys and gullies like this. Breach 1 has